Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my name is Hemant Shah. I'm the director of the School of Journalism and Mass Communication. And I want to welcome you to uh, this year's um, 2017 School of Journalism and Mass Communication commencement ceremony. Yes, you can clap. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> So we're here to recognize our graduating seniors and some of our graduate students uh, who've uh, satisfied the requirements for their degrees. And we're welcoming, welcome, welcome you and your parents and your siblings and uh, other family members who are here. Um, and uh, uh, I know it's a sold out arena here and, and I'm sorry if some of you are standing back there. I think we've outgrown this facility next year, I think uh, probably uh, Camp Randall. So after a very successful uh, commencement ceremony last year in, in this space, we decided to do it here. So I just do want to thank the staff of the Wisconsin Institutes for Discovery for uh, hosting us. Uh, I know there's a couple of you here who've helped uh, with the setup and the audio and the visuals and all of that. So thank you so much. Um, and I particularly want to give a shout out to Joy Martell and Rowan Kalix. I don't know where they are in this space here, but they are really at the heart of uh, getting this organized, and they really worked hard to do that. And um, so, so thank you. There's Joy. I see Joy. Thank you, Joy. I don't know where Rowan is, but thank you, Rowan, as well. So um, as all of you know, uh, the UW is one of the best places in the world uh, to study media and communication. It's a very, a very important part of that reputation is the work that we do in the School of Journalism and Mass Communication our outstanding faculty, some of uh, who are here today, and uh, our staff, um, and our incredibly successful alumni as well, uh, two of whom you'll hear from later today, make us one of the best departments, not only in the Big Ten, but in the country, uh, for where to study journalism and mass communication. Now, one other thing that helps us become uh, such a strong, be such a strong uh, department is our graduate degrees. And so I want to start our ceremony today by acknowledging some of our graduate students who are getting their degrees. So I'm going to read off the names of our, first of, our, uh, first of all, our MA students, and I'm also going to read the names of their advisors, and I would like that group of people to come up here uh, and be acknowledged. And uh, faculty, I'm going to give you a little memento that you'll hand to your, to your students. So uh, first, uh, Yi Ping Xia. And, Chris Wells is the advisor. Uh, uh, Haley Wang and Hernando Rojas, advisor. Meng Dian Zheng and Karen Riddle. Amelia Rufer and Lou Friedland. <laughs> Yi Nu Wang, not Stephen. <laughs> and Lucas Graves, no, Lucas is not here. Stephen Wang, Stephen Wang and Sue Robinson. <laughs> Gretchen Christensen. And Mike Wagner, I, think, I don't think Mike is here, but come on up. Brandon Storley and Chris Wells. Kruti Yelapantala and Hernando Rojas, he was already here. Jun Wen Liu. William Hogue. I don't think he's here today either. So those are our master's students. I hope you've all, advisor, did you all, advisors, did you all uh, hand your students uh, the, the memento that we have? And congratulations to all of you. Um, good luck in the rest of your careers. Thanks very much. <laughs> students, you can go back, students. So next up are our P 
PhD students. The PhD is the highest degree uh, that you can get. Um, and we have five students who uh, will, uh, have, um, uh, will be receiving their PhDs. And I'm going to add, call their names. And I'd like their advisors also to come up and uh, stand here for a moment. <laughs> uh, Stephanie Sang and Al Gunther. Mallory Perryman, come on up. Al Gunther is also Mallory's advisor. <laughs> Jungwon Yang. And uh, Devon Shaw and Hernando Rojas are co-advisors, so come on up. David Copini. <laughs> Hernando Rojas is advisor. And Katasha Davis. Shanika Hull and Mike Wagner are advisors. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can sense that some of you all know these folks, and you know they've been an uh, important part of your lives as TAs, probably, uh, in another way. So uh, another um, just mark of excellence of, for these students. Now, there's a special ritual that goes along with uh, the conferral of the doctoral degree. It's called the hooding ceremony. Uh, it's not hazing, so <laughs> it's the hooding ceremony. Um, so professors, would you please hood your students to indicate their successful completion of the requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy in Mass Communication. This is always a, the hooding ceremony is always a little bit of madness that goes along with <laughs> goes along with it. Congratulations to all of our students. <laughs> so you know we are uh, needless to say we're so very proud of the work our graduate students do, and as I said, many of them are TAs, and I imagine a lot of you have interacted with them, uh, with these amazing students. Um, the faculty and staff of the school really think the world of our students, and uh, you're bright, you're energetic, dedicated, focused, creative, innovative, I can go on and on, um, and so smart, so scary smart. Um, and I've had the pleasure of uh, having some of you in my classes and have met some of you through student organizations. I've read your work in the student papers, perhaps, or in Curb Magazine, or seen your work in, on the Badger Report, or read your story in Madison Commons, Madison 365, a lot of different places. And um, uh, I've, regardless of how I've encountered you, I've been always so very impressed by the quality of your work, the enthusiasm that you have for your profession and your professionalism. It just makes me really proud uh, that the school may have contributed in some small way uh, to your professional development and your remarkable achievements. And uh, uh, students, will you please join me in giving a shout out to the faculty and staff who've done such a great job of mentoring and teaching you over the past several semesters. You know, when employers come to the uh, J School to look for people to join their team, you know, whether it's Ogilvy or uh, Facebook, that little social media company, or uh, New York Times, that little paper in New York, uh, they, they know that they're hiring potential stars in the field. They really do. Um, and speaking of uh, school, uh, school of Journalism and Mass Communication grads who are stars in the field, I want to take a moment to introduce our commencement speakers. It's a multi-generational pair of uh, J School grads this time. Uh, Michael Brophy, uh, who graduated in 1981, and his daughter Blair Brophy, who graduated in 2012. Let me just give you a brief introduction to both of them. Uh, Mike Brophy is the Chief Communication Officer and Chief of Staff to the CEO at Aurora Health 
uh, healthcare, uh, the, the state's largest healthcare system. Mike has held several positions in leadership in, in corporate communication at other major companies as well, including Midwest Airlines and Miller Brewing. Uh, he's also worked in advertising and PR, and he's also worked in as a political campaign consultant. Mike is currently on the board of visitors of the department. Uh, this is a, a group of loyal uh, alums um, that serve in an advas advisory capacity to the, to the director, me, and to the school. Blair Brophy is the uh, public relations and social media manager at Fiskers in Madison, where she has been since she graduated, graduated with a degree in journalism and political science. She's had a number of uh, public relations and marketing internships while she was a student, um, something we encourage our students to do, so thanks for modeling that behavior. <laughs> so please welcome uh, your commencement speakers this year, Mike Brophy and Blair Brophy. Good afternoon, everyone. Wow, great crowd. Yeah. Hemant, biggest crowd ever. <laughs> I knew we'd be a draw, Blair. I knew yep. it. Yep, that's, that's worth the reason, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity to be with you today to share this special moment. Um, my name is Mike Brophy, UW School of Journalism, class of 81. And for the graduates in the room tonight, that's not 1881, it's 1981. What a great year. Uh, that's the year that Journey released its monster hit, Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> now, I've been to some tailgates in my day, especially a few recently, and I know it's a huge Badger fan favorite still. So regardless of what she says, just like the song, I'm not old, I'm vintage. Hmm. <laughs> and hi, I'm Blair Brophy, UW School of Journalism and Mass Communication, class of 2012. And as you've probably noticed, my dad tells bad jokes. What are you doing? Oh, uh, well, Dubler, I'm Snapchatting. I mean, you yeah. know, for posterity, sure, so we can look sure. fondly at this yeah. moment in the years to come. That's the way That's, Snapchat works. Right, yeah. right. And by the way, um, how do you make the font bigger? Anyway, <laughs> last week, he tried to design his own Bitmoji, but he had to call me to help him try to figure it out. And now, in every single text, I get a mini mic. Bitmoji. And I might add that that version of Mike has suspiciously less gray hair than this version of Mike. Ha ha ha. Very <laughs> funny. Well, this one calls herself a journalism graduate, but she doesn't even read a daily newspaper. You know, one of these, you hold it, you fold it, you line your kitty's litter box with it. No. Generally speaking, after you've read it, <laughs> get the joke about bad. Anyway. <laughs> And another thing, smart Alec, when I was in school here, people were flocking to journalism because of Woodward and Bernstein. She thinks that's the name of an upscale retailer. Mm -hmm. But whatever our differences may be, there is one thing we can agree on. That a journalism and mass communications degree, particularly from a best-in-class program like the University of Wisconsin-Madison, is more important to the progress and betterment of our society today than ever before. And knowing the difference between real and fake news is just scratching the surface. Regardless of when you graduated, 1981 or today, the core values, tenets, skills, and experiences you've learned through this degree will stay with you for a lifetime. Like critical thinking and the ability to be inquisitive, to investigate and balance different points of view. You know, today, in today's hyper-partisan environment, we often talk past one another. A journalism degree gives you the critical thinking skills to embrace a diversity of opinion and viewpoints, which will serve you well as a professional and more importantly, as a citizen. Or how about the ability to expertly communicate your position while acknowledging the value of opposing views? One of my mentors referred to this practice as using your persuasive voice, being able to foster collaboration by calling out common goals, presenting yourself as a reliable, thoughtful partner. And you know, this can manifest in a lot of different ways, whether you're you know, challenging a family member at Thanksgiving, or maybe in a more professional setting, like proposing a new idea to your boss. You know, this skill is a necessity, and not everybody knows how important it truly is. But you have it. You've also developed the ability to communicate effectively, to articulate your ideas clearly, and to convey thoughts in writing in a way people can understand it. No small feat, trust me. Those of us in the business world, particularly in marketing and communications, bemoan the ability of newly minted graduates to draft cogent, 
persuasive written communications, those that transcend 140 characters and three letter abbreviations, by the way, LOL, OMG, SAD. <laughs> this degree will hold you in good stead in a world today that seeks more frequently to obfuscate rather than clarify. And you've learned to challenge authority, which I find myself doing often, as you can tell. <laughs> or speaking truth to power, which is critical in building a thriving democracy or in building diverse and inclusive organizations, including those that must engage stakeholders to build strong brands that resonate with consumers. Without people who have this ability, we as a society are weaker and our organizations are poorer. We lack the courage of our convictions and become afraid to challenge the status quo. Where else do you learn these skills but in the journalism school? And perhaps as important as any attribute that is part and parcel of you now that you've earned this degree is integrity. It's an asset you bring now to any situation you face in the future, and sadly something that is in too short a supply in our society. This great school imbues in each of its graduates that integrity is immutable and non-negotiable, non regardless of the dream you follow, a journalist, a communicator, or any path you pursue. Your credibility, tied intrinsically to your integrity, is your professional and personal currency. Guard it well. The commitment to the liberal arts and a well-rounded education is also of great long-term value, like history, for example. And learning history doesn't just end when your classes end. I mean, again, interacting with my father is like a continuing course in ancient history. <laughs> now, I'm sure all the graduates in the room are thinking, look, values in a well-rounded education are great and all, but are values in a well-rounded education actually going to get me a job? The great thing about the skills you've learned today is that they're applicable in both your personal and professional lives, no matter what passion you choose to follow. Parents, back at the back of the room, <laughs> be proud of your kids. Be proud of what they've accomplished. I can tell you firsthand, the journalism school curriculum is not always a walk in the park. J202, anybody? Still having webmaster nightmares about that one. Parents, your kids will get a job, trust me. Be confident in the education they've gained from these past four years. The education hasn't only prepared them for their first full-time job, but also to be successful in the future. Graduates, be proud of yourselves. As a member of the Board of Visitors for this school, I have the opportunity to meet students and see, see your work. And this I can tell you, you're outstanding. You give us hope for the future. You shatter, shatter stereotypes of Gen Z. Rather than being risk averse, you're adventurous and willing to challenge. You crave information and use it to, to change society. You're fearless entrepreneurs. You've worked hard, you've earned this, and I hope you can see in yourselves what we can see in you. An expressive, inquisitive, persuasive, engaged, inclusive person. Ready now to make a positive difference in whatever you do because of this degree in this best-in-class school in a world-renowned university. Play the long game, see the big picture. As Blair said, you'll get a good job. But beyond that, prepare to accept the responsibility that this degree has conferred upon you. Make better what you find and dare to follow the paths of the many other remarkable and legendary alumni who have preceded us with this degree. My dad and I are proud to share in this, the experience of this school across the three decades between our graduations. <laughs> It's an honor and a privilege to recognize you for your achievement today. Congratulations, Congratulations and on Wisconsin. Wisconsin. All right, so uh, now we're going to transition into the commencement, commencement uh, part of our, of our ceremony where the undergrads are going to, in general, migrate to that side of the room and come across the stage as your names are read. But we have a couple of people who are gonna help direct traffic. Pam Garcia Rivera, please raise your hand, Pam, so you can, she's gonna help do, you know, figure out which rows and, uh, are going first and so forth. And then what we'll do is once you come across the stage, your name is read, you walk across the stage, I'm gonna give you a little memento of our, uh, of the, for the, from the J School. Um, I'll shake your hand if you'd like. <laughs> and, 
and then you'll be coming back to sit down in your, in your chairs that you left earlier. Rowan Calix in the middle will also help direct traffic, and Jeff Tischhauser you, and Meredith, who many of you will know, will also help to direct some traffic. So um, we're starting on this end, correct, Pam? We're going to start with, uh, with this, uh, these people here, and then the first row will go all the way across. The row will go all the way across. Uh, hang on, don't start yet. You're going to go walk? OK. <laughs> we could be backup singers. OK, go for it. Lauren Prazu. Cassidy Behrens. I swear to God, I won't hug everybody. Adam Mum. Hi. Hi. Eleanor. Eleanor Jean. Olivia Pizzo. <laughs> Megan Roberts. <laughs> Nicole Luzinski. <Yay>! Rebecca Haas. <laughs> Lindsey Brown. Sophie Lalonde. Katie Flicker. We need a garbage can. That's what Alana Roth. We need a garbage can. Nolan Bilstein. Oh. Allison Garcia. Congratulations. Okay. Abigail Ruckstaschel. Courtney Miller. Ewan Finlater. Bye. Congratulations. Jeremy Kogan. Leah Voskal. Sarah Ledua. <laughs> Paige Scobie. Elizabeth Ryan. Samuel Marchuka. <laughs> Kate Youngers. Spencer McAfee Gundrum. Congratulations. <laughs> Alexandria Mason. Congrats. Scott Bembenek. Caitlin McIntosh. Molly Doherty. Molly. <laughs> Olivia Bruce. Thank you. Emily Neinfeld. Congratulations. Riley Vetterkind. Congrats, Riley. Mia Sato. <laughs> Louisa Lincoln. <laughs> Haley Sperling. <laughs> Andrew Hahn. Congrats, Andrew. 
Kalorin Mellendorf. <laughs> Katrina Lang. <laughs> Brett Strasser. <laughs> Addison Mum. Congratulations. Zhao Feiju. Uh, Kevin Fawcett. Siddharth Pandey. Zoe Kellner. Catherine Petri. Congratulations. Emily Markin. Mora Curtis. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Lindsay Wagner. Jamie Shesky. Congratulations. Kanan Spambanek. <laughs> Maggie Sullivan. Jason Millis. Rebecca Kravitz. Sophie Nathan. <laughs> Emily Weiss. <laughs> Lauren Greenberg. Congratulations. Ta sorry, Ta I know, I'm sorry. I was like, get it right, and then I got it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Talia Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Trishan. I feel like we mess up more when they give us a pronouncer. Yeah, I'm trying to get it right. <laughs> Harley Maslin. Congratulations, Harley. Jennifer Rusnow. Carrie Justic. Congratulations. Erica Schwartzberg. Jamie Cohen. Emily Pankin. Michael Handler. Nicole Shanfeld. Jillian Underberg. <laughs> Julie Spitzer. Yeah. Ashley Mogg. Alec Garcia. Thank you very much. Kenneth Kazarowski. <laughs> nice job, congratulations, Kenneth. <laughs> Nikki Petrus. <laughs> Alexandra Jaka. <laughs> Megan Gasper. Madeline Schweitzer. Woo! 
Madeline Westberg. Andrew Tucker. Zachary Rustle. Jacqueline Kentrovitz. Samantha Silverman. Sydney Spenadel. Did I get it right? Jordana Carger. Anna Felsenthal. <laughs> Alyssa Frank. Congratulations, now start singing. Yeah. Daniel Kinderman. <laughs> James DeGraff. <laughs> Dana Lukatans. <laughs> Elizabeth Kane. <laughs> Hannah Heckman. <laughs> Brenna Kennecke. Ben Ledholm. Jesse Scoville. <laughs> Elena G. Madeline Hannon. <laughs> Colleen Degnan. <laughs> Catherine Sweeney. Natalie Zimmerman. <laughs> Gemma Cologne. <laughs> William Chiswick. <laughs> Logan, I'm doing it. Logie Bear Reichstag. <laughs> you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. <laughs> Eric Cummings. Thanks, Thank Dana Scholl. <laughs> Rachel Brook. <laughs> Lindsay Briggs. Morgan Liddell. <laughs> Helene Kennedy. <laughs> Kyla Kaplan. <laughs> Rebecca Feldman. <laughs> Danielle Bunker. Somebody, <laughs> Madison and Boyan. <laughs> Bailey Gunderson. <laughs> Cassidy Gull. <laughs> Matthew Foster. <laughs> Christopher Bambaka. <laughs> Leo Varduella. Mitchell Robel. All right. <laughs> Bailey Neckreiner Mackesy. <laughs> Nick Sisson. 
so proud of you. Gabrielle Di Benedetto. Tara Reingens. Michaela Tunin. Maggie Baruffi. Maggie Dulesky. Jacqueline Bannon. <laughs> Alexis Wells. I swear to God. <laughs> Jesse Wang. Amanda McEnroe. Sydney Ellis. Charles Beck. Jenna Workus. Catherine Hicks. Elizabeth Koskowitz. Annie Parrots. Lily Hansen. Megan Horvath. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bridget Driscoll. Congratulations. Bridget. Oh. Claire Hornacek. Go do amazing. <laughs> Madeline Floodstrand. <laughs> Catherine Edquist. <laughs> Hansu Zhang. Rebecca now. Oh. Alicia Beersack. Matthew Davis. Alyssa Robin. Caitlin Van Ort. Hi. Pam Mil Pamela Miller. <laughs> Do the formal name. Rachel Burns. <laughs> Sasha Mollis. Maya Invice. Congratulations. Catherine Goslin. <laughs> Mariana Bonadonna. <laughs> Megan Kelly. <laughs> Alexis Brote. Nicole Army. <laughs> Ling Nguyen. Congratulations, really proud of you. Bonru Zhao. Congratulations. Oh. All the hugging. Madison Schiller.
Caitlin Gronsky. Ashley Trutchell. Kara Childs. Yoko Yin. Yeah. Congratulations. Sayang Chu Chen. Oops, sorry. Oh, I got your hat right off. <laughs> Sawyer Bach. Chase Cornette. Uh, this Melissa Bailing, and I'm, I have to do it. I'm really pleased to say that for what we think is the first time in the time any of us has been here, Melissa was chosen as one of only three uh, Dean's Prize winners in the whole College of Letters and Science. And I, we're so proud of you. So proud of you. She is going to kill me for that, just so you all know. All right, Lauren Skilba. <laughs> Dara Brody. <laughs> Deirdre O'Donohue. Emmeline Began. Okay. So, first of all, congratulations, class of 2017. So um, we all sincerely wish you the very best in your future endeavors, but uh, please, please stay in touch with us. We really want to know how you're doing. We want to know what's happening with your careers and your lives, and uh, we care about you. So uh, <laughs> we love hearing from you. So good luck, and on Wisconsin. Now you can throw your hats up in the air if you'd like. You want to sing varsity? On, Katasha Davis wants you to sing varsity. Katasha, you come up here and lead us in varsity. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Go okay, ahead. so we're going to sing varsity. So, undergrads, let's get, get up. Come on. I'm a terrible singer, so I'm going to step away from the mic. But get some people. All right. All right. Oh, wait, okay. On three. One. Two, three. Bar City, Bar City, you row, row, Wisconsin. Praise to thee, we sing, we sing. Praise to thee, our alma mater. You All right, thank you everyone, thanks very much.